Hello everyone. How are you all? Um, good to see you after almost what? Two weeks? Long time no see. I know that. Almost. Uh, yes. Almost two weeks last. Last Thursday I was in Delhi. Uh, I think I was in Mumbai if I'm not mistaken. No, I was, I was in Kashmir uh, one week before that. So, um, feels good to see you after a long time. <clears throat> My voice, something has happened to that. Anyways, chalo. So, um, I was just reading through the comments uh, before I started the stream. And uh, some people were guessing what is the topic about. Because today I've written that I'm booking losses. Plus I'm smiling. So, some people have started guessing that what could be the exact discussion for today. But yes, if you have watched my yesterday's live stream, my God, something is wrong with my hair today. I don't know. Take care. If, if you have watched my yesterday's live stream, how many of you did watch it? Yesterday, I did uh, a live stream in the vertical format. And in that, I had discussed that, yes, we are going to talk about small cap index. We are going to talk about mid cap index. We are also going to talk about nifty levels. And we are also going to talk about bank nifty levels. Okay. Uh, so we are going to discuss about that. But yes, <laughs> before that, I can see a lot of people asking me that, ma'am, who won in your category? Rajit ji is asking, plus uh, Vijay is asking, uh, who won in your category? Something is wrong with my mouse. It's not, it's not properly behaving. Okay. Uh, a content creator called as Naman Deshmukh won in my category. He is a tech content creator. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was surprising. Uh, of course, he's a good content creator. No doubts on that. Uh, create some good content around tech. Uh, but, you know, I was a little bit, uh, I'm not sure whether I should be using the word disappointed or not. But uh, I just felt that you know, in the education category, no one from the field of financial education uh, was was considered. I'm not saying only me, but no one from the field of financial education was considered. So felt a little bit bad for the whole community of finance influencers. Uh, and, uh, you know, I had requested everyone to vote for me. Um, I had done a live stream on our English channel. I had done a live stream on my marathi channel i had done reels i had done shorts i had i had requested through every platform to vote for me but i think that is where um, you know i i won the hearts uh, i mean i i won uh, with the help of votes is what i can say because everyone for those for those whom i requested for for vote to vote for me uh, they did vote and i got the highest number of votes i have Done a, I've taken a screenshot of that and uh, I did a reel on that as well. Uh, if you have checked my Insta handle, I did the reel on the same day and uh, got the highest number of votes. It was some 11,800 something. Uh, in that category, Naman had gotten the lowest votes. Uh, again, I'm not I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not talking about his content, good, good tech content creator, but in education category, he had gotten the lowest votes and... Uh, he was declared as a winner in that category. So anyways, uh, it's life. Uh, I, I don't think that the award decides what I do as a next course of action. Uh, you know, sometimes such events uh, make us more stronger from inside because sometimes uh, we we just keep on exactly Ranjit ji saying even Ankur was was in in my category only he was in the education category he was also not considered Anushka Rathod was in my category she, category she was not considered um, one or two more content creators were not from the finance field uh, they also I think Aman Dhattarwal was in in my category he was not considered so I just felt that uh, you know uh, tech person should not have been uh, a part of the education category. That's my personal opinion, obviously. Uh, and uh, now the jury decided, uh, maybe, uh, because as per votes, I had gotten the highest votes. But anyways, like I said, right? Um, no, Ganesh from Think School was also not there. So that's what I'm saying, that so many content creators, 
uh, were were not there. Um, but anyways, uh, it, it was just one incident. I'm very happy for uh, Abhi and you. They, they really deserved uh, the the award, and I'm so happy that they got it. Uh, even Ranveer got the award. So many good content creators also obviously got the award. But I feel that all in all, happy for those who got the award. Uh, me not getting it, obviously, I felt a little bad. But uh, yes, thank you. I, I the biggest point for me was that I received so many messages on that same day, on the day after, two three days after that. Even I'm getting some in the comment section stating that you are the winner for us. Uh, yes, thank you for making me feel better. Uh, but uh, you know, this is not the end. Exactly, that's what Karupa Swami says. That's not the end. Uh, you know, so much more to be achieved. Uh, and in fact, some things will be, uh, there are going to be some things in life which which will, you know, tell you that, okay, this is not the end. There is much more to go. And uh, I'll, of course, keep on uh, working harder. Uh, and I'll, of course, keep on making more and more content around financial awareness. That has been my goal since day one. And not getting an award is not going to deter me in any way. Not getting an award is not going to, you know, make me stop delivering any content. Uh, I am going to do that. Uh, you know, no one, no one does any compulsion on me to do a Thursday live stream, right? After starting my day at six in the morning and doing a stream at nine thirty p.m., no one is no one is forcing me to do that. I do it on my own because I love interacting with you all. I love sharing whatever knowledge I have. I love learning from you all as well. So I think it's it's a process. Uh, and yes, that was it. But I just thought that I should share my feelings with you all. Uh, as I share my happiness with you, you see, I, I always say this, right? You all are my extended family members. So <clears throat> if I'm happy, I'm going to share that with you. Uh, if I feel a little bit sad, that's what also I'm going to share with you all. Uh, if I if I win, joy is what I'm going to share with you all. If I lose, I'm going to share my sorrow with you, right? Uh, but yes, we'll take that as it is. Uh, we'll move on gracefully and uh, we'll keep on doing the work that we did and We'll move on, right? All right. Uh, Bharat says, on that note, let's let's hit the like button. And uh, that is what is important is what he says. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Amol is saying, Aaj ek ice cream jasti ka. Gasha cha bhuga cha halila hai already, Amol. Amol, uh, so, thik hai, so. <laughs> I exactly, Pushkar. That's what I wrote in my Insta caption that Harkar jeetne wale ko bhi baazi gar kehte hai. <laughs> All right. Chalo, so with that, uh, we are going to discuss something really, really important today. Okay. Uh, for those who saw my yesterday's live stream, I had discussed that today we are going to talk about the mid cap index, the small cap index, Nifty, Bank Nifty. And that is what we are, what we are going to understand because there are a lot of people who panicked, especially yesterday after the big fall. And I started receiving a lot of messages that, uh, is this over? Is it the top? Uh, so a lot of people who got scared. On the contrary, there were a lot of people who felt that is this a right time to buy okay so we have to understand whether it's immediately buy jump in and buy is it a panic sell that you have to do or could this be a little bit of wait and watch is what we are going to understand in today's live stream okay santosh is saying stop drinking water in a plastic bottle madam see what i do is throughout the day i have a copper bottle so thoda sa plastic to jana chahiye na andar <laughs> okay just kidding but uh, yes, I make it a point to drink water in a copper bottle since morning. That's in, in my office only. But thoda ghar pe thoda sa indiscipline ho jata hai. Okay. Anyways. Chalo. So with that, let's start. Let's let's quickly go on to trading view. I'm going to share my screen. Um, so that we get some more time for discussion. I have drawn some channels quickly. Small cap. 100. Okay. okay. I forgot to share my screen. One minute. Almost 3,000 people live. Uh, so, hope you are able to see my screen now. And this is what I'm going to share. 100% attention for the next 4 to 5 minutes. Okay. Please, uh, as far as possible, don't put any chat. Just focus on whatever I'm saying. Just next 4 to 5 minutes. Okay. Just to save on some time, I have already drawn some support channels. Okay. Now, uh, where am I? I am on Nifty Small Cap 100 Index. And we are, this this start is somewhere around 
2020. Okay, so this was the Corona low. Now, if you see here, small cap index was going in a channel. Okay, this was a channel, upward trending channel is what it was going through. Right from the bottommost point of March 2020, the topmost point was hit here first, August 21, followed by another high at October 21. So similar high was made somewhere around Jan 22, after which it started its downward journey. Okay. Now what happened? Once it broke this channel, did it see a good fall? Yes, once it broke this channel, it was almost. So, so please understand. Just after looking at this, you may feel it's not that big fall. Huh? Just few candles here and there. Wait, wait, wait. This is a monthly chart. Okay. When this candle was showed that, okay, the channel has been broken. Just see this, the lowest point. This was almost a 16% correction that we saw in the next what? One, two, three, four, five, almost six months. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> After that, what happened is that market started going in a sideways trend. So we can say that this was like a time-wise correction. Okay. After ending the upward trend, when the channel was broken, it went into a little bit of a correction. Correction does not mean that it just crashed like anything. 15-16% correction on the downward side. But it immediately recovered from the lowest, lowest most point as well. And just have a look at this in the next almost what? A year, 21% up almost, right? So here you can understand that it went into more or less like a sideways correction. Okay, or a sideways price-wise and time-wise is what we say, right? So this is more, of, more or less like a time-wise correction here. Sideway, sideways for a time pass, right? After that, what happened is that it again resumed its upward trend. Okay. Here you can see started do, doing more and more higher highs, uh, a, a, a higher low, again a higher high. And this is March 2024 candle. Okay. Did it did it kind of touch the lower band of this channel? Of course, I've drawn this band. It's not, not like 100% accurate. It can be something like this as well. If I'm just, uh, you know, touching the higher points here, it's the parallel channel that I've drawn. Okay. Uh, so here you can see it just touched the lowermost point of the channel and again it has closed within the channel. Has the candle closed? Answer is no. By the way, this is a weekly candle that I'm referring to. Even if I go to the monthly candle, this is how it will be seen. See, it's going to be more or less similar, right? So monthly candle close on it, there's a lot of time. Even if you see same point, it went down. Okay, now if you see, achha, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. In the previous one, I did I did say few months. Huh? This was not months. Sorry, my bad. I was on a weekly candle. So that was few weeks ka correction. Okay. If I were to go on a monthly candle, you will understand after this channel was broken, it it corrected by how much after the channel was broken? Percentage-wise, roughly on a monthly closing basis, roughly 13, 14%. But this happened in barely two months. Okay. But this two months loss was recovered in what? Almost, almost two months gain. Almost we went up to this level. At least the closing, this was the lowest lowest point, right? This closing was at least taken out. Then it weighs into a sideways time pass for like five, six months and again continued its upward journey. I hope I'm clear till here, okay? Now we have to understand what was the scenario of mid cap, okay? So let's go to mid cap 100 index. Okay, nifty, mid cap, 50, we'll go to this one. Uh, let's go to mid cap. Only. Okay. Now if you go here, again here I'm on a monthly candle only. Again if you see, a very similar thing is seen. We'll check out weekly, monthly both. Okay. If you see here, on a monthly basis also, it was in a rising trend from March 20, from COVID lows is what I'm talking about. Here it tested its lows when it tried to break the lower most point of the channel. Again went inside the channel. I can also extend this of course a little bit. Okay. And once this was broken, Okay, how much was the correction in two months? Roughly a correction of 11%. After this channel was broken, almost 11%. But have a look at this. This candle, okay, I'm just going to zoom this in. This candle not only recovered the whole loss that was done in the previous month. This is the close, right? It's, it's a red candle. So this was open, this was the close. The close of the previous month was also taken out in the single candle. So here you can see. Even if you look at the top here, here you have to focus, okay? Here you can see 12% gain in a single month. So this was not a sustained downfall. What happened after that? Again, it went to a sideways zone. It went into a time pass. It went into a time-wise correction, okay? What after that? Again, the upward journey resumed. Da, 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 da. That is where we are. 
now we have to understand the same logic logic is that is it still inside the band yes if it is still inside the band should i be worried answer is no i should not be worried at all but if the band is broken if the band is broken we have to understand what has happened in the past and if that were to repeat how much has been the correction in the past and how much time did it take to recover that so as i mentioned almost 12 percent correction happened in the mid cap space so if you see here that's what i showed you right almost 12 12 percent correction in two months but almost entire almost entire loss was recovered in a single candle so is there anything to worry right now i don't see that i know a lot of talk was uh, i mean a lot of things were being talked about in the small cap mid cap space am i worried answer is no not not much uh, see again one more one more important point now. i've taken small cap 100 and mid cap 100 okay so small cap 100 will obviously not include all those killer stocks i hope everyone knows the bifurcation also how much are small caps how much are mid caps <coughs> how much are large caps okay so 1 to 100 are large caps by market capitalization 101 to 250 are mid caps by market capitalization and 251 onwards all are mid caps so on 251 may say so 251 onwards still what 5000 something whatever we are talking only about the top 100 small caps even if i'm talking about mid caps from 101 to 250 i'm talking about the top 100 mid caps in that space at least what i believe is nothing much to worry as of now okay and like i mentioned even if this is broken we know what has happened in the past could we be prepared for that yes okay i hope everything is clear till here now let's go to nifty 50 index and if you have seen my yesterday's live stream i had discussed the one hour candle yesterday okay <clears throat> See, I'll just quickly draw this for you. And if you remember, if you have seen my yesterday's live stream, I said this is like a rounding top. Correct? Why do we have to understand the rounding top? Because, sorry, if this is completed, if the rounding top is completed, if it is broken, then what is a lower target? This, whatever, whatever is the height of this rounding top, I clone it. And then I understand that, oh, in that case, it could go to almost 21,450 or 21,500 levels. Okay, tell you. But what happened? After the rounding top was formed, it did not break down or it, it did not show much more signs of weakness. In fact, after that, it started showing signs of reversal. And yes, it has sustained about that. Okay, this is for Nifty. If you remember in my yesterday's live stream, I also talked about Bank Nifty. In Bank Nifty, I had drawn this hourly uh, i had drawn this rounding top yesterday and this is where we were yesterday this is the 315 candle okay 315 and i'll just draw a line here this is where we were yesterday and i said that okay if the rounding top were to be completed then this is where we can come down to and then what happens is that this is the base that has been formed and from here whatever is the height that can get duplicated i'll clone that that can get duplicated and this is where we could head toward that is almost forty three thousand five hundred. okay this could have happened had the rounding bottom been formed what happened after that the rounding bottom uh, sorry rounding top did i use rounding bottom the rounding top did not complete in bank nifty in fact from there itself from what wherever it was yesterday from there itself it started showing some signs of consolidation so is there anything that I can see which really worries me right now? Answer is obviously no. I hope you have understood four really important points that I discussed right now. Number one, I talked about small caps. Small cap, top 100 index is what we refer to. Mid caps, top 100 index is what we refer to. I want quick answers, okay, so that I will just get to know that whether whatever I told in the last five, seven minutes, uh, whether you have understood that or not. For small cap 100, for mid cap 100, are both still inside that upward trending channel? Quickly tell me yes or no. I want a quick answer so that I can just understand. I can get a feedback whether you understood whatever point I was trying to make for the last almost 10 minutes. Uh, is Nifty 100 and Nifty mid cap 100 and Nifty small cap 100 are both inside the upward trending channel? 
fantastic many people have given the answer yes is there a need to worry in that case i don't think so no need to worry <coughs> second thing what we did even if that is broken then what we analyzed what happened to small ca uh, small cap index we also analyzed what happened to mid cap index so even if that breaks down we know that in the mid cap space as an example in the mid cap space there could be a correction up to 10 percent okay so 1500 2000 points here and there possible if it breaks and breaks decisively and with maybe some see, when it it has to break it has to break with some big reason so that there can be a bigger fall okay but until and until unless i see such a bigger reason i'm not going to quickly you know jump into that okay you know you know it is all over i'm not going to do that okay now with this as a base understanding we have to also understand one very very important point and that important point is about what are the rsi levels right now because this is also super important just as an example when the small cap index was near all time high okay at that time small cap index was around 82 rsi is what i'm referring to okay i'm repeating when small cap index was almost at an all time high at that time small cap index also and mid cap index also to give you precise numbers small cap index was 81.97 mid cap index was around 82.47 chalo again let me see how many can give a quick answer 80 plus on small cap index and mid cap index is that kind of an overbought zone yes or no i'm repeating my question if i'm talking about small cap index and mid cap index by the way that i'm talking about a monthly candle is that like an overbought zone yes or no oh, yo, gaming is saying oversold no no nowhere is this overbought ah evil king again rectified overbought overbought absolutely over exactly yes yes okay fantastic so got the answer okay now we have to understand what is the level of small cap 100 index and mid cap uh nifty small cap 100 index i'll just quickly go to one month candle and let us check how much is the rsi right now i'll just share my screen um okay let us bring in rsi was rsi already there okay, one okay. so <coughs> on a monthly candle here if you can see right now rsi is at 69.86 comparatively comfortable 69.86 is not bad at all okay this is nifty small cap now let's go to nifty mid cap nifty mid cap 100 index okay Let's also check how much is the RSI at Nifty mid cap. 76.20. A shade higher. I understand that it is a shade higher. But maybe it can again go into a little bit of time wise correction. And it may cool off further is what I believe. Okay. So 76 is not really comfortable. But it's not that bad also. Okay. It has started to already cool off. Here you can see previous month high. It was around 81.59. And it has already pulled off this month as, as I as I do the live stream. As on date, it has already pulled off to 76.20. So should you be comparatively comfortable at this position? Answer is yes. Okay. 69 is still good. 76 is not very comfortable, but not that bad also. Okay. So I hope you have understood that uh, whatever is the nifty level right now, the bank nifty, mid cap, small cap, nothing is giving me discomfort. Okay. Now the big question. If nothing is giving me discomfort, why have I written that I am selling? And why I was laughing when I was saying that I am selling? Okay. The reason is very simple. We are in the month of March. And if you know, there is a concept known as tax harvesting. Okay. If you just again, for next two to three minutes, focus on the concept of tax harvesting. Achha, by the way, I can see some people in the live stream uh, who, are, who are mentioning that... Um, <clears throat> Uh, okay, tax servicing understood, but I could also see some some people uh, specifically asking that relevance of RSI question mark. Some were asking about, could you please repeat what you said about the trend? 
people if you are not really sure about what all these things mean whatever i discussed right now uh, please understand that all these concepts are very much there uh, you you have to learn these concepts so that you get more and more confidence right and if you want to learn about these concepts i have a separate course on technical analysis it is available on my website achanaranade.com or achanaranade.in very important this is the first time first time that i have come up with a separate coupon code coupon code is live stream i generally offer a discount of only 5% on my courses because i feel that this is a good time to learn just in case if you have not yet started learning about technical analysis or fundamental analysis this is a good time to learn if that channel is broken if market goes into correction you should know which stocks to buy you should know when to buy but if you want to learn that you have to learn something like fundamental analysis you have to learn something like technical analysis and this time i am giving a 10% discount flat 10% discount which i generally don't give and uh, this is going to remain live only today till 12 midnight okay only for the next 2 hours this coupon code will be uh, uh, you know it will be valid okay so those who want to invest in knowledge uh, don't forget to visit my website rachnaranadi.com mainly for english courses for regional courses you can go ahead with rachnaranadi.in be it in marathi or uh, if it's about mastering money management i have it in kannada tamil telugu as well uh, and don't forget to use the coupon code live stream uh, that is how you can get some additional discount and as i'm mentioning this is only applicable this coupon code will remain valid only for the next 2 hours okay so this is one important point almost 4700 people watching live very important announcement one more super duper important announcement i can see a lot of fraudsters who are asking people to join certain whatsapp groups wherein they are giving ideas about how to double your money some stock 8 rupees stock it will go to like 500 rupees 8 rupees stock promising to go to 1000 rupees they are using my photograph typically my sari photograph is being used uh, some a lot of almost 15 different fake uh, ads i have seen uh, we have reported this to facebook team uh, my legal team has initiated an action we have already initiated uh, the complaint with the cyber police uh, so we are taking whatever measures we can take at our end but please don't fall prey to these fraudsters uh, you know they can really really be a pain for you i i have a lot of how they are getting our no no uh, karupa they are not getting your numbers basically if you follow me on instagram i'll just quickly give you an example if they are following if you are following me on instagram they are running paid ads on instagram and they'll say that if any viewer is following rachna then show this ad to those people and that is why you are seeing that advertisement okay you can whenever you are doing paid advertisements you can do that so there are many frauds on instagram there are many frauds on facebook i don't run instagram ads i don't run facebook ads so please requesting everyone that if you see such ads report such ads uh, as i mentioned my team is definitely working on that but uh, please take out some time to report these people as well uh, there are so many people who also messaged me that you no know, rachna we joined that group some asked us to invest in in crypto some asked us to invest in small caps or penny ca- penny stocks people lost their hard earned money please don't do that uh, so those who are regular viewers of my channel they will understand this but uh, those who are not you know so much frequent viewers they may fall prey to this so please uh, educate people around you as well okay and so that you no know, they they don't fall prey to such fraudsters right all right so uh, going ahead with our discussion why my booking loss i am booking loss for a concept of tax harvesting Uja, please uh, check what is the tax harvesting. Uh, there is a tax harvesting video, so just uh, find that and paste the link in the description box, <coughs> right? So tax harvesting has two concepts. One is loss harvesting and one is profit harvesting. I'm just going to tell that in the next one minute, okay? Because I have a whole separate video, almost a 28, 29 minute video, wherein I have uh, you know discussed with examples. Okay, it's a proper. uh example level format that i have done and uh, you will be able to understand this concept very easily in that video so we will be putting the link of that video in the pinned comment in the description box as well so that you get to know everything about uh, tax harvesting but i'll just give you a quick example if 
you are having a long term capital gain i'm just quickly telling you focus next one minute if you are having a long term capital gain of less than 1 lakh or up to 1 lakh please book that right away okay now it's all about we our target is not yet met we feel that it will go higher no problem book the profit and on the next day you can again buy the shares so just as an example assume that some person this is an example some person had bought either let us say geo finance or maybe tata motors or maybe bharat airtel or whatever any any stock i just gave two three random examples okay and assume you bought that stock you have made almost what 90000 rupees profit okay what you will do you will sell these shares and assume you you got this 90000 profit in less than one year okay oh sorry sorry i'm talking about long term capital gain why i'm saying less than one year for more than one year right so you you had bought it let us say 13 months ago okay so long term capital gain that i'm referring to you bought it 13 months ago what you can do right now so let's say february 20 uh, january 2023 or february 2023 is when you had bought these shares today we are in march 2024 so already it has been more than a year okay what can you do sell the shares okay book profit and immediately on the next day buy the same quantity of shares okay if you buy the same quantity of the shares on the next day it is as good as you have those sh same shares intact in your portfolio but whatever profit you have earned that will go as tax free okay so please utilize this 1 lakh rupees ka uh, you know cushion that has been given by income tax so uh, that is how you can harvest your profit uh, make <laughs> ranjit ji singh all crr subscribers make profit more than 1 lakh ltcg ranjit ji still uh, i mean it's not like if you have earned more than 1 lakh you will not get that benefit okay even if you are gaining more than 1 lakh it's like 1 lakh ka deduction is what you you are going to get so still that is feasible uh, so don't forget to book that 1 lakh ka profit um, and if even if i'm talking about loss there is a concept of loss harvesting as well it is a little bit tricky to understand uh, i need a pen uh, and a proper board for that and that same example i have discussed in my youtube video right so please please watch that youtube video that is how you will understand uh, about how to do loss harvesting as well you can book losses you can gain from that you can save some taxes it's a fun way to save your taxes right so don't forget to do that all right uh, quickly just wanted to welcome the newcomers uh manoj gpt welcome to membership swagat sharma welcome to memberships no oh, yeah swagat sharma welcome to memberships who else krajay kumar indian oil okay then orange city welcome to memberships dipesh prajapati um ओके काजल बोरा वेलकम टू मेंबरशिप्स अनिल मस्कर दीन दयालन स्टेला अश्विनी सिद्धांत कार्गो मूवर्स एन आर जाधव नीरज कुमार अमोद पाळंदे मोहम्मद जमालुद्दीन नवीन जीवन डॉक्टर ऑस्टिन कॅब्रल अरे डॉक्टर ऑस्टिन आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम हाय मैम इज व्हाट ही इज सेइंग ओके 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 as some people have just said hi okay and yogesh kadam okay welcome to memberships a uh, lot of people joining in uh, so welcome to memberships uh, so shivendra ji is saying i'm listening for the first time thank you every thursday i do come live and that is how you can uh, enjoy uh, gaining a round up of what has happened in the last one week okay chalo any quick questions will be happy to answer uh it's 10 8 my god okay uh, but yes next 5 to 10 minutes happy to answer your questions uh ha ye to jubilant ke management ko bhi nahi pata hi ma'am jubilant food work kab badhega patience khatam ho raha hai i know i mean uh, investors in jubilant food works are having a very 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 tough time uh, it is in my portfolio as well uh, in losses no doubts on that uh, <clears throat> planning a loss harvesting in jubilant as well <laughs> okay uh there was a news about Jub jubilant food works uh, i think day before yesterday uh, but still the stock is not showing any signs of reversals absolutely not ranjit ji saying electoral bonds data released include include some listed companies it can have an adverse effect tomorrow on them i believe yes it will be a good opportunity 
exactly so see whenever you feel that there are some fundamentally strong stocks which get beaten down because of a news impact their numbers are good their sales number see their q2 results are good their q3 results are good just because of one or two news a temporary jhatka if that is the case then you can consider doing an sip in these stocks whatever stocks you believe in uh, that is a good way you can drive through you can sail through such situations right raki is asking any future prospects of railway sector okay these you know sectors like railway sector they are uh, definitely a long term one uh, if you see my january videos i've done a video on irctc i've done an, a video on irfc so uh, yes sure uh, it is a promising sector only thing is that typically these sectors trend somewhere around jan feb okay they are uh, seasonal kind of sectors so somehow right now they are in a correction slash sideways zone uh, but yes if you are if you are thinking from a long term perspective definitely i see some uh, good strength in that entire sector vignesh asks any course for it filing for fndo no no course on it filing but i have a course on fndo um oh ho pavan ji saying hello rashna i have vbl with 600% return should i hold or add or exit please guide <coughs> pavan uh, uh, vbl is in a blue sky zone right now very much uh, you know just going up and up and up i always say that if you see some signs of reversal uh, in such cases one can consider booking profits if you believe in the long term story then there is no there is no logic of booking profits as well i always say that there are some kind of stocks which are kept for a generation and some kind of stocks where you like to churn your portfolio so you have to decide whether what kind of stock is that for you okay if you feel that it's like a portfolio churning wala stock then if you the moment you see some sort some sort of reversal that is where you can consider booking profits and that's what i was mentioning right in my technical analysis course i have taught as to how can you identify what could be a sign of reversal so worth worth checking out that course on technical analysis right good question siddhad asks i have a question i have seen many stocks on daily chart have a positive pattern rsi around 61 and has macd crossover but at monthly level rsi are at, are above 81 what to do in such cases siddhad uh, typically in such cases i prefer to uh, stay away because if it's at a monthly level of 81 there could be some correction so that till till it goes at a comfortable position somewhere around 70 ish levels okay 60 is so very comfortable but given a choice see let's say uh, i am wanting to enter a stock i see some good things daily may rsi is at 61 but monthly rsi is at 81 i would try and search for other stocks possibility number 1 possibility number 2 if i am a kind of uh, a person where i have a proper risk reward in place i know that okay in a short term i can get some good momentum i if i see some momentum coming in the stock i may enter but in that case as i mentioned i will have my stop loss in place as well i will i'll have a proper risk reward ratio in place as well okay uh, otherwise if you are kind of you know uh, a conservative one a conservative person would not enter if rsi is above 81 level especially on a monthly time frame okay map my india daily rsi bounced back from oversold level but weekly rsi still hasn't reached oversold level could the stock correct even further in fact advise if you are a pro investor member i have discussed about map my india in absolute detail a uh, very very fundamentally strong stock uh, and um, you know in that in my pro investor membership specifically i try and consider analyzing or uh, you know digging down deep into what does the company do we understand the business so much in detail and we try and touch upon different sectors so map my india when I, when i did a video on that even while me and my team we were studying on on that uh, stock it was such a pleasure to learn so many new things so if you are a pro investor member i hope you have already seen that video and in that i have i have not only discussed about the fundamentals but also about the technicals when we have review video on last year stock of the month stock oh ho uh, we will try and make a separate video uh, we'll try and you know do some some sort of analysis uh, right 
Okay, Ashwin asks, where could we get more information about companies' future plans and their expected growth? Uh, I'll quickly share screener. Uh, of course, you can get that on the company's website as well. But I'll quickly uh, tell you a, a comparatively easier way for that, right? I'm sharing my screen. <clears throat> okay, so let us say I'm talking about Map My India. I go here. I go to the document section. Okay. When you go to the document section, this is super important. These are con calls. Here in con calls, you'll, you, you have a choice. You either read the transcript. Transcript is nothing but word to word. Okay. I'll just show this to you. Transcript, transcript may it will be something like <coughs> so much word to word. I'll just zoom this in. Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the C Infosys. Uh, it'll start from here. Okay. Good evening, everyone, on behalf of la 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 la. Okay. So it, it is going to be that much word to word. If I'm not interested in that, I can just directly switch on to a PPT. Okay. Again, this is the investor presentation. Who prepares that? Company only. So the company will give about the performance in a very nice format through which, you know, you can understand the company's performance more in a graphical way. So I love uh, going through the investor presentations. A fantastic way to understand not only the past performance, but they do talk about what are their future plans in this same uh, investor presentation. Also, you can uh, see certain notes. This is a part of uh, screener only. And here you can see, for example, see future plans, plan to invest in international expansion, consumer business and the drone business. And all these details, what drone business, what not, you'll find in that PPT or in the transcript. Revenue modeling, Maple's uh, KOGO assistant, blah, blah, blah. the outlook. So all, I think these are important. Plus, annual report is also important. And in some cases, you should also be able to see a credit rating report here. OK, so let's say Tata Motors. As an example, see credit ratings. OK, so whenever me and my team, we, whenever we do our analysis, we refer to the con call transcripts, notes, PPT. You check the credit rating reports, the annual report, needless to say that. And if there is any recent announcement. So whenever you see any fundamental analysis video, uh, on our channel, uh, it does take a lot of uh, effort uh, to do the analysis, to do the research. And similarly, it does take a lot of uh, effort to do this live stream as well. So just in case if you have not yet liked the live stream, please smash the like button. Okay. Welcome to memberships. Any other quick question? Ma'am, how about option chain analysis? Uh, it is, it is again, uh, really, really important uh, to do option chain analysis as well. I have taught how to analyze option chain uh, or how to analyze the whole chain in my futures and options course. Uh, today, I did not do the option chain analysis, but it's already 10, 17 in the next stream. I will definitely do the option chain, right? OK. All right, Nikhil says, hi, ma'am, Maruti, inverted head and shoulder on a monthly time frame. Okay, let me check Maruti, Suzuki, and on a one month basis, inverted head and shoulder. Correct. Correct. It, it is also like a cup and handle. I'll share my screen. I had drawn a cup and handle, actually. That is why I was saying key. This is the cup and handle that I had drawn. But if I were to delete this, is this also an inverted head and shoulder? It is. See. One, this is the shoulder. This is the head. And this is the shoulder. Breakout, retest, bounce. Very good. Uh, who was this? Nikhil. Very good. You have done the analysis. I love that. Last one or two questions before we wrap up the stream. Hemanji, thank you. Thank you for the silver sticker. <laughs> HDFC Bank. Mm -hmm. uh, I personally uh, you know, feel that right now HDFC Bank is still not performing as per the market expectation. Uh, you know, there are certain reasons for that. If you dig down deep, you will understand for sure. Uh, 
even if you look at the valuations part that it is attractive agreed but uh, just just not able to crack uh, a few parameters um, nowhere close to a recommendation everyone understands that but right now based on the entire data if you uh, do the analysis of icici versus hdfc icici looks better fundamentally in majority of the parameters uh, but HDFC bank, if you are looking from a long term perspective, three years, five years, I don't see any problem. All right. Can I can I add one third chunk in Reliance at twenty eight zero five levels weekly time frame currently holding with twenty percent profit? Uh, have you done Reliance ka technical analysis? I'll just share my screen. I had done some analysis some days ago only. Um, <clears throat> this is the monthly time frame. Here you can see it was in a complete sideways trend. Okay. And this is where the channel has been broken on the upward side. Okay. So how is the pivot looking like? Pivot on a monthly time frame is between R2 and R3. Uh, let's see on the daily time frame what is the scenario. Long consolidation is, oops, sorry. Just give me a second. Okay. So if you see here, a long consolidation. And here on a daily time frame, if you see here, just zooming this in. This was a clear breakout. And right now, still above that level only. Uh, on a daily candlestick pattern, it's taking good support at around good support around S1. Uh, so, not going to give you a direct answer to this, Rajesh, but uh, you understand analysis and you understand that it is at a good level right now, taking good support at S1. Okay. If you, if you are, if you have, I'm sure you have done my courses, Rajesh, uh, on on fundamental and technical analysis. And you will understand uh, whether to buy or not. So rather than me telling everyone should understand, just by looking at the chart, you should be in, in Marathi we say or na tagba When I'm showing the chart to you, you should be able to analyze it by yourself. You should be able to interpret yourself and with good confidence, right? So yes, that was it about today's live stream. Arik, yes, yes, yes. Kya baat hai, Rajesh? Yes, I remember you were the one who reviewed the Telugu course even before it was released. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay. I think that is it. I hope everyone enjoyed today's live stream. More than 5,000 people watching. Uh, before I stop today's session, would quickly want you all to tell me if there is any specific topic that you would want me to cover in the next live stream or you would want me to make a separate video on any specific topic. Uh, because, see, whenever I, I make videos, I try and read through whatever is happening in the market i try to give out relevant information but uh, of course you can definitely suggest uh pavan is saying please suggest some stocks to buy in the fall i don't suggest stocks directly but uh, we'll try and do some uh okay fundamental analysis strong stocks uh to buy in fall is what i'm writing right now uh will not suggest any names for sure though Okay, directly, yeah, yeah, whatever I, I'll do, I'll do an analysis. IT filing. Uh, okay, but not sure in the month of March, if you, you would want to know that. Maybe in the month of April, I'll try that. How to book profit in mutual funds. Interesting. How to book profits in mutual funds. Intraday, no, I never do an intraday. Oh, ho. technical analysis of a sector that is in buy zone. Okay, sectoral technical analysis. Kya baat hai? Okay. How to filter fundamentally strong stocks. Okay. I have a separate video on how do I pick stocks, uh, how, to, how do I pick stocks in one minutes or something like that uh but okay how to pick fundamentally strong stocks but you can check this on my channel it's already there okay 
ओके एस एल बी एम ठीक है मार्केट्स आफ्टर इलेक्शन ओके मार्केट्स आफ्टर इलेक्शन हो हो अश्विनी सिंह कोर्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर हाउ टू सेल्फ लर्न अबाउट अ कंपनी इन डिटेल लाइक स्टॉक ऑफ द मंथ ओके इन्वेस्टिंग इन फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स अदर देन इक्विटीज एंड म्यूचुअल फंड्स ओके अदर देन इक्विटी एंड म्यूचुअल फंड्स ओके गुड वन So just last one or two quick questions. I mean, quick suggestions is what I'm going to take. Rupee versus Indian stock market It can be just a part of a video, not the whole video per se. Which mutual fund to invest? Direct investment and fund manager help. Okay, NRI taxation. Oh, Nilesh, if. If you are wanting to know more on NRIs, uh, I hope you know that we have a separate community uh, which is for NRIs. Uh, this Saturday we are going to host uh, a seminar, a webinar basically, uh, which is about insurance for NRIs. How to choose uh, good insurance options? Uh, can can an NRI buy insurance from an Indian company? Which is cheaper? Buying an insurance abroad is cheaper, or buying an insurance in India is cheaper? We are going to discuss that as well. uh we are going to discuss that if there is a claim which is to be processed and if you have taken out an insurance here in india uh, can they directly pay abroad or is the claim amount settled in the nre or the nro account so we are doing that as a webinar this saturday that is on the 16th right and on 23rd we are going to open few slots where if you are a member of my invest in india community you will get an access to discuss one on one with renowned chartered accountant as to how can you plan your taxes uh, very limited slots are available but you will be able to ask your questions to a chartered accountant uh, on a one on one basis but only and only if you are a member of our invest in india community so puja if you can just share our invest in india community ka link i'll also pin that up in the description box and in the pinned comment also okay so uh, for nris that's definitely a good Yeah, exactly. Nilesh is asking. Uh, you are asking how can I join it? I will paste the link in uh, the pinned comment and in the description uh, box immediately after uh, this this stream is over, right? That's a smart. That's a nice topic, Ranjit ji. Why? Wow. Why was Nikai sleeping for four decades? That will that will require some nice analysis. Nikai. Nikai, turn around story is what I'm writing. Love microeconomic concepts does take a lot of time, uh, but love it. Okay. A short video explaining about the thing you said in tax book profit. Arey, that I will. I, I already have a video of that. I'll share it in the pin comment and description box. Okay. All right. All right. i hope i hope uh, i am going to make some good videos out of uh, the topics that i have written right now and uh, we'll also consider one or two topics uh, in our live stream as well uh, talking about live stream as i mentioned right now uh, i have done a separate coupon code which is called as live stream and it will be live only it will be valid only till 12 midnight only for the next barely one and a half hour so if you plan to invest in knowledge then uh, don't forget to use this coupon code nilesh uh, is asking do you have any uh, <laughs> offers for invest in india yes nilesh uh, i will give the same link which is which does have some discount available as well uh, so yes you can avail that as well but if you still have any doubts 9022196678 uh, i'm just typing it out 9022196678 that is uh, the whatsapp number that's the support number uh, that you can reach out to this is the official whatsapp number 9022196678 so if you have any queries about uh, enrolling for any course or enrolling for the invest in india membership my team can definitely help you out with that okay uh, so sweet thank you thank you shashi for that i means a lot right 
uh, yes, I had my dinner. Thank you, thank you for that. Now it's not time for dinner. Now it's time for dash. Answer quickly. <laughs> Tell us something about electoral bond owners. That is also okay. I'll write that down. Electoral bonds donor. Ice cream. So only one or two people said sleep. Those who are, who are following my channel, everyone knows. Natural ice cream. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Okay. I'm going to cut down on ice cream. <clears throat> I, I say this every Thursday, but every Thursday I tell myself this is the last Thursday. Okay. Chalo, hit the like button is what Suresh says. Yes, you can consider smashing the like button. I hope you enjoyed today's live stream. Um, I'll see you on the next Thursday. Till then, take care. Shahid and bye-bye.